We're back at you here at Three Point View. We're drinking beer and talking sports. Is what we do. Is the king. The king is getting a new throne in the year 2018. Good flavor. Is he going to stick with the Cleveland Cavaliers, or, or is he going to go to the City of Angels with the Los Angeles Lakers? There's a lot of speculation going on right now. Uh, we talked about how IT is just having an audition, basically, for the mm-hmm. Lakers. Mm-hmm. So there's going to be a lot of cap space for the Lakers. Right. Clint, can you explain to us how the Lakers can free up three max contracts in right. the future? So- This year, Rob Palenka and Magic Johnson worked it out by trading Clarkston and Nance to the Cavs, and they shredded those contracts for their cap space for the 2018 free agency. They have roughly $70 million going into 2018, so they can sign two max players. The two biggest name max players that they're talking about bringing is LeBron and Paul George. So there goes your rough, you know, that's about that's roughly 65, what you got 70 million, right? Roughly, yeah. So if you bring Paul George over with LeBron James, now you're adding Contavious Caldwell Pope is already there, but he's on a one year deal, one year, 18 million. He could go or he could stay. They have a rookie named Josh Hart out of uh, Villanova who's doing really well this year, right? Back up the Lonzo ball. And then you got Brandon Ingram, who is, you know, the mini Durant. All right. So then you also have Kyle Kuzma. The steal of the draft. The steal of the draft. Steal of the draft, right? So if you're putting a lineup together with those and you're incorporating those two players, Caldwell Pope might have to go. Okay? You bring in Paul George at the shooting guard, mm-hmm. LeBron at the small forward. Or you can put LeBron at the power forward and run Brandon Ingram at the small forward. And Julius Randle, if you keep him, you got to get rid of Lopez. Because in 2019, they can also add another max player if they get rid of Lopez. So if you can keep Julius Randle, Kyle Kuzma, LeBron James, Brandon Ingram, Paul George, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, all these, you know, these other two coming yeah. off the bench, you, can get rid you of, have a complete, oh, you have a squad. And you know what you can do after that? If you got get seven rid of players, Lopez, and guess who else is an LA guy that's going to be a free agent in nineteen? Who? Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, Kawhi actually Leonard. From that well, area. Leonard is, but you're you're clogging that position now. So you got Paul George. But you got multi-purpose people that you, that can play. But you're, you're you're clogging it though because well, wherever now, wherever LeBron goes, there's people that want that championship aspirations. Kawhi, Kawhi, I don't think Kawhi's gonna go. Out. I'm not saying Kawhi. I'm Kawhi. talking there's people who take stand and stand who stand take who take so. championship discounts yeah. to join the squad. You know what I mean? But this the you're, James you're looking Jones at your top take, five. Guys. Think about think about this top five though. Oh, that's a good. What'd you say? Randall, LeBron, Brandon Ingram. Paul George, Lonzo Ball, right? Now you got That's your crazy. Kuzma is not even in the top five. Yeah, right. And now you got your bench. Now you got Josh Hart, Kyle Kuzma, coming off the bench, and maybe Caldwell Pope if he comes back on a lower, lower contract than eighteen million. So with that being said, all you can do, you can add, you can keep Alex Caruso, you know, a, a, a minimum contract. You know, well, think about you this can keep too. Zubac at a minimum contract. Think about this too. L. A. just got rid of pretty much the heart of their team. Like they, they shipped off well not the absolute heart. heart not well they shipped off this guy few, right here is the heart yeah. Julius Randle that's the heart well, that's what I'm saying is they they did just ship off some key key parts okay so who's to say that they don't just kind of tank who the Lakers yeah to start no. to start to spiral downhill a little bit not gonna happen they've won <coughs> seven yeah. they've won twelve, 12 out of last 17, seventeen games I get that right? They're but not just, sprawling out of control, saying, and it's not going to happen. Magic Johnson ain't going to go for it. All right, well, not going to go for it. I'm just saying, if you can get up in a top 10 pick on they're top not, of having gonna, that much cap space. They're not going to go for that cap but, space. They're not going to do that stuff. Right. So, What if they do tank? What if they want that? I mean, that's just, I'm just saying. Can you imagine it, if Bagley That's what I was line? getting at. That's that, exactly what I was getting too at. Far at. Their two record is too far ahead to where they All can't even They can't even accidentally tank right now. You. To get a chance, you could be in the top, in the bottom ten. Yeah, they're not going to be in the bottom ten. No, they're not okay. going to be in the bottom ten. So yeah, I'm not sure what the record's at. So no. does that lineup that. compare? Is it better than the Cavs? What they have now with 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 all these new fresh new legs that the Cavs have brought in? Well, if you, if you add Paul, if, are you saying with LeBron on the Lakers or on the Cavs? LeBron on the Cavs. LeBron on the Cavs. Paul George on the Lakers. Or not no, even George yet. LeBron on either squad. Which, which well, squad LeBron, do you take? LeBron on the Cavs right now would beat this team, and LeBron on the Lakers would beat the Cavs team. No, I'm saying LeBron LeBron with the Lakers versus LeBron with the Cavs. Which one? LeBron with the Lakers would be beat a LeBron better team. With the Cavs yeah, and LeBron, LeBron with the Cavs. Cavs. But they'd be going up against the Golden State Warriors, so it wouldn't right. be automatic trip to the... 
And but the thing finals. is, all these guys are shooters, long, lengthy, defenders. Here's the deal. Else. Question. LeBron, Paul George join that LA team. Are they a threat to Golden State then? Absolutely. I mean, OKC's a threat to Golden State. I think yeah. Houston's, Houston's the biggest probably the oh, biggest Oh, yeah, Houston threat. too. I mean, that's a given. But I'm saying on a team that's yeah. like close. Well, in comparison to where they, how far they've come this year, absolutely. OKC. OKC's, they, they've Here, grown Here's my about. question to you. Mm-hmm. Chris Paul, when's he a free agent? Next year. It's 19, right? 18. No. Oh, right yeah. after this year. Could they do a sign and trade? They send Lonzo Ball, because, you know, Paul can say wherever he wants to go. Mm -hmm. They send Lonzo Ball to Houston. Mm -hmm. They do a sign and trade. He basically says, I'm going to L.A. no matter what. So they say, we'll give you Lonzo Ball. Mm -hmm. Now you have Chris Paul, Paul George. I don't know if they'll mortgage their long-term future Do you think he would be worth, do you think Lonzo's that good that you wouldn't take Chris Paul? That's LeBron's boy. Right. We've seen him on vacation. That's his dude. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he would have a long-term how, future on that. Other than the Miami experiment, because we, we've seen be exactly what years. LeBron and his friends together can do on the court. I'm just saying that we just watched. Yeah, we just five watched years it. ago. Exactly. I'm talking about today. Yeah, we yeah. just watched right. what just happens right, when LeBron right, gets right. a bunch of his, not right. even just Dwayne, Tristan. Like He's got a bunch of overpaid but buddies that have been underperforming. Buddies. You know no. what I mean? So I mean, I, I don't see the Chris Paul coming on his D Wade wins his contract up. He's staying in Miami. He's yeah, he's done. He'll he retire. You don't think he's going out no, there? He, no. He's got one or two years left. <laughs> what if he takes that hometown don't, discount? He ain't doing that. He's staying in Miami. Not hometown discount. He's staying. You know. He's staying in Miami. He's not going. He's not going through all that shit again. Mm. So the only person I can see other out of those three is Melo going to L.A. On a discount. On a discount. He's, play, he's made off. so much money. This. And he could play power forward, but he'll end up coming off the bench. Because I really Carmelo will come off the bench. He, he don't, should come he off don't the want bench. to come off the bench. That's he for sure. Ever come off the bench. Yeah, I don't will. see him ever coming he'll off come the bench. bench. I see him retiring before he come off the bench. Mm. I guess it all depends. Who's more likely he's out of these guys, Chris Paul or Carmelo, to, to join them? Carmelo. Carmelo, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I think Carmelo, for sure, is definitely the choice that, that would end up in L.A. over Chris Paul. Okay, so what hat is is Durant going to continue to take the discount to stay with Golden State? Like yeah, how, but you know he's not really long? taking a massive discount to no, stay there. Like, he's just doing enough so, to try to keep it together. I think the if he does him and Curry, they could rework their contract or something like that. Because Clay Thompson being a free agent coming up. And they're going to want to keep him. They're going to want to keep that core together. I could see maybe even all three of them taking a $5 million shred off, you know, a rework contract discount to yeah. keep Clay Thompson. I mean, that's $15 million you free up, plus what you already got freed up. And then on top of that, you own his bird rights, so you can sign him no matter what. You, he doesn't even have to touch free agency. You, you think know? Thompson's cool with just being... The third, yeah, because wheel. he's successful, they're successful, and he's known. He's not is like he the Joe, is he the Joe Dumars of our age right now? Like, he, well, Dumar was I mean, a, he's Dumars the Dumars, a, the Pippin, yeah, Dumars was a stone cold killer, yeah, you know what I mean. But I, he never got those. He's the Dumars, the Pippin, I, the Paul Gasol with the Lakers and Kobe. I kind of disagree know. to the extent of he's okay with it. I, I, I think he's fine because his, his brother plays for the Dodgers, so his whole family's out there. You know, I mean, the, I, the only I, connection that I believe that could bring Clay Thompson to LA is Michael Thompson and Magic Johnson. I'm not even saying just LA. Well, if, if he goes to LA, he's, saying, still, you know, he's still in the general if area. If he goes to the Clippers, he'd be the man. I'm just saying, I have a feeling that when this, he might, and I think you and I discussed it before, if any piece falls from that puzzle. It's him. And, and I feel like uh, he he hasn't had his shine so yeah. much this year. He doesn't get right. talked about. Which maybe he's not that guy. Because you know what? He's never come across as that guy. Like yeah. he wants to shine. You know what right. I mean? But when he when the time's right, he performs. If, the, if well, there's any yeah. knock on Clay Thompson, it's his playmaking ability. Like the dribble penetration. You know, make plays for yourself. He is catch and shoot. A couple dribbles here and there. The and a good defender. A come good, off a screen. Great defender. Stuff like that. Other than that playmaking ability that like Steph Curry has... Or that LeBron has, or you know your other like Chris Paul, James Harden, you know, list goes on and on. He can be clutch. Though. He he's not that guy though. Yeah. So I think he knows what he is in the league right now, and I, I mean, he's gonna get paid regardless, and he's got everything there right now, and they're winning. I can see if they were losing, 
other than LA, who actually has a real shot at LeBron? LA, Cleveland, who else? Or do you think Cleveland's in his rear view right th- at this moment? Mm. You think Cleveland's still in the picture? I think one team that may have something in there is New York. You know, but Porzingis going down. Yeah, that, that you don't hurt. know how he's going to come was, back. I think that was a wrap for New York. You know, because they just made a great trade getting Emmanuel Moutier to come to New York. Yeah. You know, they have a young core there, and they have cap space. LeBron can bring some, you know, some friends with him. So. Yeah, they might compare to that. I, I think, I think no, the Chris Depp, no. the Chris Step move completely shot the rest of that in the, yeah. in the, in the yeah. can. So but, San Antonio is um, not on the radar. I think San Antonio, <laughs> San Antonio is can be. Well, not so much that because. I think the, I think I mean it's Kawhi, Kawhi because of that the whole well yeah that is a portion of it I'm not saying not oh, just Kawhi that. Leonard Kawhi Kawhi if you not if you could not recall a couple months ago was kind of complaining like he he didn't have a, he didn't yeah. have the right sources of people yeah they're not bringing in the right people for him no. he, he hasn't had that big they are star old. coming they are on old. board and and with that being said LeBron's never played for. a Great coach, right. Pop is there. Mm-hmm. You know, Kawhi's there. Basically, Kawhi could be the next face of this league if LeBron left. I love San Antonio's new young core with Dejounte Murray running. Oh, forward, absolutely! Right, you got Brian Forbes, or Kyle Anderson. You got Kawhi Leonard. You got Davis Bertans. I mean, Paul Gasol is kind of good and go bye bye. So you got Joffrey Laverne. I don't know. I just. Who, they, who's going to be the one to take the Old Yeller back there and shoot him behind the, the shed as far as Tony Parker and Ginobili? Like, well, when t- is this going to happen? Ginobili's gone after this year. He's going to retire. So this is going to be his final. I thought last year he was going to retire. This go is probably going to be his last year, Ginobili. I, and it might even be Parker's because he just got demoted to the bench the first time. He's only come off the bench 11 times his whole career. The goofy thing is with those two, I could see them be willing to like take – Minimum just contracts to just to continue to yeah. play and come off the Hold bench on. and still be. Right. What if they go to LA for a league minimum? They won't. They won't. No, they're they're, 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 they're San Antonio. San Antonio yeah. yeah. You know. Parker's faithful. been linked to people in LA. Yeah. yeah he was. What is dating Evan Longoria? Like Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria. Oh, Eva. 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 this just Eva. in. This just in. Eva. I knew what you meant. <laughs> But yeah. after he got, no, they they've been in San Antonio their whole damn careers. They're not going anywhere. I mean, yeah. they yeah, they may know people in that town, but as far right. as their basketball careers, that's I think all they anybody know. Anybody in the world knows somebody in California. Yeah, I know. So, I, know I if I was LA, I'd sign Tony Parker to mentor Lonzo Ball to split time. That only whole only John way Tony Stock Parker. You have going. Magic Johnson. Yeah. Why do you need Tony Parker? Yeah, you know. Only way Tony yeah. Parker's even going there is if it was. An assistant coach. <laughs> like, he's yeah. not, there's, there's no reason to go yeah. there playing. It's not going to happen. No. So, LeBron. LA, it's, either, it's either LA or Cleveland. LA or Cleveland. Who do you pick? I hope it's Cleveland. I, honestly. I, I, I want to say Cleveland, but the only way that I will say that convincingly is uh, how well they do in the playoffs. That, man, can he just not paint so much of an image of going to LA with the yeah. office? And you were telling me the kids are going to school yeah. there. Like, how much more of a picture, clear picture do you need to paint that I'm leaving to go to L.A.? Well, I mean, that's it's, where his career is going to end up going. I mean, he's doing acting. Yeah, yeah, you're, right. you're, you're a former L.A. native. <laughs> where, <laughs> what do they, is there even a comparison? The nicest place, I mean, I'd rather live in Florida than L.A., but he's really? not going back to Miami. Okay, so you say Cleveland or L.A.? I, I say Cleveland pending playoff. Outcome. Make it quick. LA. I think him and Gilbert, the tension between it, unless Gilbert sells the team, I think he's already gone. No. I'm a Cleveland fan. I, I don't to want him it. to. That's why I, I don't struggle. want him to. But right. I will hope, like I said in the previous like, segment, you know, I hope Dan Gilbert pulls him behind and said, look, I'm selling the team. It's, it's yours. Right. Let me, let me right. just go and just please. I don't even think he would do that because I don't think he really cares for LeBron. LeBron no, might be leaving, but we'll be coming right back at you at Three Point View after this.